something. Oh, yeah, from the old bus. No, let me see that. Yeah. Get the old bus. No, boom! Welcome back to another episode of the Michigan Magnet Man. I am here in Detroit, Michigan, doing some magnet fishing with the Motor City Magnet Fisher down here. Now, we haven't been down here in a little while. This is where I found all those buttons. Jason found a, a shotgun and a few other guns down here. Last weekend, he found a World War II gun. So we're hoping to have some more luck in this spot. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this magnet in the water. And for my first find of the day, I got this giant spring. Jason, on his first full, found this old pair of glasses. It's pretty cool. Should try them on, huh? <laughs> With my next big find, I got a huge thing of old chain. I thought I had a handcuff on here too, but not quite. Ooh. I caught another piece of that chain, except this one's got the hook on it. And it looks like on that throw, I've got two railroad spikes. I'm gonna keep these, plan on making some knives out of these this summer. <laughs> On that find, I've got this little fishing lure, cool color, and a bolt. And it looks like I've got a railroad spike in the part top to a lock. This would slide into the lock and you'd lock it that way. Not a bad throw. And Jason caught a wheel. So what do you guys think? Are there more wheels or doors in the world? What did you get? It's kind of cool. It's like, a little, like a little crank handle. Nice. You gonna keep it? Jackson has found two rims, a bunch of railroad parts, some old chain. <laughs> and I've got a brake pad from a train. With that throw, I've got this giant hook. So Jason just pulled in this jar and it looks like there might be a photograph or something inside. Let's go ahead and open this Man, thing up. Jackson opened the spell jar. He knows I will. Oh, well, it opened easier. I'm standing mm. upwind of him. I'm gonna pour out the liquid. Doesn't have a terrible smell. That's interesting. Usually they do. Alright. There's money in there, it's mine. No. <laughs> there is a photograph. It is a photo. And maybe a letter? So it's a photograph of two people kissing. Oh wow. This might be a memorial. Or a love spell. It's got a little smell to it. Oh. Well, the back of this says move away, move away, move away, move away, move away, move away. I have their address. Which, which craft? Let's see if we can get this to open without being ruined. I can't. Um, that says Brando. No. Yeah. No, Brandon. Well, it's a spell. We broke the curse. You're now free, Brandon. Have, now You're he free. doesn't have to move away. <laughs> That's crazy. Hey guys, so we've switched locations. We now have the Ambassador Bridge right up behind us. Pretty good view here. Let's go ahead and get this magnet in. Oh, yes, yeah, weights on there. Yeah, let me get those weights off of there. And on that throw, it looks like I've got a step that would go down the side of the uh, fishing wall here. Not a bad little find. Do something. Oh, yeah, from the old bus. No, let me see that. Yeah. Get the old bus. No, boom! Don't look like a phone. No, it ain't. That was it don't look like a phone, but it also don't look open. Might be oh some yeah, it does. In there. Yeah, no, it does. It's it's all right there. This one's pull coin return on it. Yeah, don't pull it much. Not a bad start. No, gives you some hope. Hey, there's crawfish in there. Well, that pair looks like I got the lid to a paint can. GoPro starting forty. Ooh, got a container. Just got a tree stain. He did. That is a tree stand because that piece at the bottom holds your bow. That's where you rest your bow. Holy cow, dude. Got myself a tree stand. You put that up in a tree and you use it for when you're hunting deer. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of these GoPro, no stop recording. Dude, that is the craziest thing. I never I never would have expected to catch a tree stand. <laughs> and I just caught this tree stand for bow hunting. <laughs> it's got the the uh, bottom of the rest. Oh, I don't know what that's part of something. I think that's part of your tree stand, buddy. <laughs> I think it is. <laughs> I think I've caught a little bit more of that tree stand, guys. 
I got a couple of whippets on that one. And I've got a seat from a folding chair. <laughs> Looks like I got another part to another folding chair. And just got myself this pair of vice grips. Another one of those handle things and a whippet. D battery from Panasonic. I've got a spoon and a catfish bell. <laughs> With that throw, I've got a rotor. The rotor is hissing. I just saw, caught some sort of clip. I'd assume it goes on a desk or something to hold papers. We move down a little bit farther from where we started out. Let's see if we have any more luck over here. Check out this snag. That's a lot of fishing line. I don't have one. I do have something though. So I thought this was about the weight of a gun, but I have this giant piece of metal on the bottom. And I also noticed I got this knife. First knife of the day. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, dude. We haven't found one all day. Sonya would have found one of these first throw, guaranteed. And Jason just found this Michigan Laundry Agency sign. That's pretty cool. We're gonna to do some research and see how old this is. I'm willing to bet it's from the 50s or 60s. That side was in a little bit rougher shape, but the other side looks great. And I just found the arm to a chair. My first throw at the new spot. <laughs> and on that throw, I've got the reel to a fishing reel, a battery, and a whip it. <laughs> All right. Hey, it looks like I got this little setup, and I also have another reel from a fishing reel. Throw, I got another spark plug. All right, we are at the next spot, and we are dealing with some geese. You're going to hear a lot of honking in this portion, guys. With that throw, I've got this piece of chain. A great day down here on the river, guys. We did a lot of hopping and jumping to everywhere we could think of. And we're running out of luck now today, so I think we're going to call it a wrap for today. If you guys have it, make sure you head over to Jason's channel, the Motor City Magnet Fishers, and hit subscribe. And show them some love, and let them know down in the comments that I sent you. Also, if you haven't subscribed to me, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, get those alerts turned on. I post new videos every single Friday, and I just got back into my Instagram account. It has been eight months, so I'm back. So I will see you guys next week.